Hello, I'm Dr. Eli Whitney with the Heart and Vascular Institute of Texas. One of the most common reasons that patients are referred to a cardiologist is chest pain. There are, however, many causes of chest pain or discomfort which have nothing to do with the heart. Whenever something irritates part of our body, electrical signals are sent through the nerves to our brain and pain or discomfort is felt. There is, however, a big difference between the nerves on the outside of the body and the nerves on the inside of the body. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between the part of the skin that is being irritated and where our brain feels the irritation. For example, if a mosquito bites you on the left shoulder, you know without thinking exactly where to swat. The reason for this one-to-one -one relationship is that there are hundreds of nerves going from the different parts of our skin back to the brain. The inside of the body, however, is totally different. There is only one nerve that carries pain signals from the internal organs of the stomach and chest back to the brain. That nerve is called the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve can send pain messages from the stomach, gallbladder, esophagus, or food tube, heart, and lungs back to the brain telling you that something is wrong. Since there is only one nerve coming from all these organs leading to the brain, a problem with any one organ can cause chest pain. When a person has chest pain or discomfort, the actual problem can be a problem with the heart, lungs, stomach, gallbladder, esophagus, or food tube, or even the upper part of the intestines. The fact that only one nerve from the inside of the body carries pain signals to the brain can make figuring out what is wrong with the person very difficult. There are many common examples of the disconnect between where the pain is felt and where an actual internal problem is located. Many people with heart attacks feel the pain in their left arm and not in the chest. The heart is not located in the arm. Many people with ulcers feel the pain in the chest and not in the stomach. Many people with gallbladder problems feel the pain in their chest or in the right shoulder. Many people with heart attacks feel the pain in the jaw or even in the upper part of their belly where ulcers are commonly felt. To figure out where chest pains or similar discomforts are really coming from, we perform various medical tests, the most common of which is the stress test, since heart disease is usually the most serious cause of chest pain. A regular stress test will correctly identify the heart as the cause of pain or discomfort 70 to 80 percent of the time. A nuclear stress test will correctly identify the heart as the cause of the problem 80 to 90 percent of the time. If the stress test is normal, we ordinarily search for other common causes of chest pain. In the United States, far and away the most common non-heart cause of chest pain are problems with too much acid in the stomach and too much acid in the esophagus or food tube. In the past several years, a medicine called omeprazole or Prilosec has been available to help figure out and treat acid problems in the stomach and esophagus or food tube. Prilosec virtually shuts off the production of acid by the stomach. If excess acid is causing the pains or discomfort, then taking a single pill of Prilosec once or twice a day will stop the problem. If the stress test is normal and the use of Prilosec stops the pain or discomfort, the problem is due to excess acid causing an ulcer or ulcer-like condition in the stomach, intestine, or the food tube or esophagus. When the esophagus is irritated, spasms occur, producing pain which can feel just like a heart attack. When Prilosec stops a person's chest discomfort, additional tests can be performed, such as blood tests, an upper GI series, or endoscopy to determine whether the problem is in the food tube, stomach, or intestine. These tests are normally helpful since the therapy can be different depending on the exact location and type of problem. If the stress test is negative and treatment with Prilosec is not helpful, the next most common cause is gallstones. The best test is an ultrasound test of the abdomen or belly. If gallstones are present, the problem is probably in the gallbladder. Unfortunately, about 15% of older people who feel totally normal have gallstones when tested with the ultrasound. At this point in time, people are generally referred to a specialist in gastroenterology for evaluation or referred to a surgeon for an operation. If the stress test is normal, the Prilosec doesn't work, and the gallbladder is normal, the problem may still be in the heart. 
Remember that I said the stress test accurately finds heart problems 80 to 90 percent of the time. The problem is that 10 to 20 percent of the time there is a heart problem, but the test says everything is fine. Fortunately, most of the time when the stress test is normal and heart problems are present, it is usually not very severe. If you are still having problems and the workup is normal and Prilosec does not work, then I recommend additional heart testing and possibly a heart catheterization. The reason that we don't recommend a heart catheterization initially is that it is an invasive procedure that carries a small but real risk. Hence, it is safer overall to take the more conservative approach of performing a stress test, trying Prilosec, and if necessary, performing an abdominal ultrasound. If the problem is still occurring and we don't know what is causing it, additional cardiac workup should be performed. I hope this educational video has helped you better understand the nature of chest pain and how we can work together to alleviate problems. I'm Dr. Eli Whitney with the Heart and Vascular Institute of Texas.